Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a new word list and then use that word list to create an activity. In this example we'll be creating a crossword. Let's get things started by creating our word list. Looking at the toolbar at the top of the page, we'll use the editor's icon. Clicking the button gives us a drop-down list. Select Word Lists. When the new page appears, enter your words in the word column. You can use level to indicate spelling level, classification, and clue. The word and the clue columns are the only ones that are required. For this example, I'll be entering words having to do with sports. So I'll start with entering my first word. For the level, I'm just going to put level 5. And for classification, I'm going to put sports. Hitting the tab key will take me back to the next line where I'll enter my next word. I'm going to leave the level and the classification blank for these and then I'll enter my clue. I'll quickly enter the rest of the words. Now that I'm done adding words, I'm going to use the fill down tool to add the levels and the classifications to all of my words. So I'll select the number 5 in the field that I have entered already and then click the fill down button. I'll do the same for the classification and now my list is complete. I'm going to click the save button here at the top and in the pop-up window that appears I'm going to give my word list a name. I'm just going to call it sports. I'll click the save button and then I can click close here. Now to create an activity I want to create a crossword so in the activities list on the left side of the page I'll click crossword. You notice on the page I get a crossword template that's empty because I haven't selected a word list yet. The bottom of the page I want to select the word list that I'm using. I'm going to look for sports which is the word list I used. I'll just double click that word list. The list of words appears in the bottom right corner and on the crossword activity you can see the blank crossword with the across and down clues and along with the word list itself. To see the answer key for your crossword, you click the answer key button here at the top and your answers are filled in. If you're not real fond of the way your crossword was generated for some reason, if you click the generate button at the top, it uses your word list again, but just generates a different looking crossword. And you can keep generating one until you get a, a crossword shape or setup that you like. That's the basic information on how to create a new word list and then use it in an activity.